Hi hey guys, I just saw the quick video of Creeparian and I wanted to add a little of something about how to have not only perfect macros but the perfect syntax in your macros. If you are like me, a perfectionist, you know, you like the perfection and every detail. So yeah, I took a few things that could be improved in Creeparian macros. Uh, it's, it's useless shit because he won't win any uh, performance or utility out of this. It just you you win character usage. So here I'm up to 37 with just this line and I'm gonna show you how to make it better. So I can instead of target eagle I can just use the arrow bay at this shit will work fine. Also he added a space here. No need. You don't need a space. The only space you need is after fuck is after this little when you say the slash common after slash common you need one space here then no space at all required just to separate the command from the parameters so instead of cast we can win actually one more character by writing here, here use use will work for every fucking damn thing so I want almost 10 10 ish like 8 characters which is quite a bit so what else here second thing well you can use slash use two and those thing in a comma yeah no brackets I don't fucking know parenthes in French okay you don't need them you can just remove them it will work fine it was used to specify uh, when a spell was for like beer form or cat form or defensive stance, but nowadays with Mist of Panay, I just just useless. Never need them. Now, this is a pretty interesting one. Let's see how we can optimize that. So we got here two lines for no reason. All right, we can first off write this like that. You need two lines when your macro will cast two things at the same time. Here it's not happening. You see because this line is with alt modifier, this like this line is without modifier and still without modifier. So we don't need it. We can just flat out make it in one line. Now space we can remove those space. Useless. This one too. Modifier. Instead of writing modifier, we can just write mod like this. Okay. Now we can make it better. So I'm gonna write mod here. Okay. Now since okay, oh pet noted. Right. I'm not sure we need exist here because if opet isn't dead, then it obviously exists but you should check see if it work I'm gonna remove it for the sake of my explanation and here I can just add mod okay now another thing we only use alt modifier so we don't actually need to specify which modifier we use you need to specify which modifier you use if you use more than one modifier else you can just go and write no mod it will work. Now another thing is here if we're not using a modifier we're using a modifier so we don't need to add add here or even that we're using a modifier. If we do that will we use those first thing with the modifier and this one without it will work just the same and it's much more cleaner much simpler to write. Okay now we can still make it better because we got actually two parameters that use the same uh, nomad stuff and we can just make this one use a modifier actually all right and make it before so i just write it like that and then don't end your macro with this never it's bad because it tells the line that something is coming after and then you just don't write anything after uh, 
the client doesn't know what to do with it. It, it, it can make weird stuff happen. All right, so here we have it. The same micro, just a lot less. Ah, uh, we can still optimize a little bit. Yeah, here we have it. Slash use mod with a modifier. This ability, no modifier. Pet, let's check. Pet is alive. No. Then revive pet. All right, simple. Took it take one night. I only use 54 characters. I don't. I didn't check how, ma how many it was before, but I'm pretty sure that's quite a lot of win here. Another stuff here. Okay, space, useless space. Other stuff. Slash so use you can write here. Win a, little, win a little of space. And what else? Exit harm. And uh, now those I'm sure you don't need to exit here. If your if your focus is harm, then it exists. Yeah, that's, that's how it works. If your target, if your focus doesn't exist, he won't be harm or alive. Okay, now there is a simple way to add this. Basically what this is doing is if not, then do this spell and we add the same spell all over again. Now there is a simple way. You can just add an empty bracket. It just tell your macro to if you have no parameters, just if those parameters aren't right, then use no parameters. And using no parameters in the macro, it's just like using the spell classic with nothing. So it's just the same thing I just put on adding the stuff. Alright? So yeah, just quick video. I hope you enjoyed it. And great video, creep. As always, love watching your shit.